Hello and welcome FBL fans, I'm your host Joe Moore here, and I am bringing you another week of the FBL Final Battle League, and after a win last week, I am looking forward to having another fun battle this week against Delphin. He does uh, apparently like to have stall Pokemon and stuff, so I've been heavily prepared for that, but it looks like he didn't bring any, so very offensive team, did not expect that. So uh, we're going to have to work around it. At least he didn't bring Regirock because Regirock kind of runs our team. So. All right. Here's the plan. We're going to go ahead and lead off Tinkerbell for sure. And um, Kenton Claus is our main answer to Corviknight. Uh, Solaris is going to be our sweeper at the end. Iggy is going to be our counter to Latios. Um, Jirachi is support really um it can also 1v1 latios if need be and it's also a pretty good check to tapu coco because it is max Fidef. uh putin is here specifically for that pasimian so anytime pasimian is on the field uh we are we are making sure wheezing is in front of that plus two defiant boost because the picky webs isn't going to bother us too much Will bother us enough, but not too much. So, good luck, have fun, Delphin. And uh, let's see how this battle plays out. What does he lead here? I'm not even going to pretend to know. He could lead anything. Saku Warrior. Okay, he just leads off the Pasimian. And that clearly means it's Scarf, most likely. So, I'm just going to Moonblast, because we live anything we are focus -ashed. we shouldn't flinch because of our ability so he could go iron head he could just hard swap i think he hard swaps here because he knows we're focus dash 99 percent of the time he goes rock tomb didn't need the sash we live uh no secondary effects because of our ability so Moonblast is just going to take out Pasimian, and we don't have to deal with that anymore. So, beautiful. He does break our Sash, though. So if Tapu Koko comes in, that's a problem, because then we won't be able to get webs off. Um, Dove and Eagle, yeah, Tapu Koko comes in. He could go for an electric type move, which if I go to, oh, air balloon, okay. I could go kit and claws here, because an electric move doesn't hurt us. Uh, Dazzling gleam hurts a little, but not a lot. I think it does over half, though. Um, I'm going to go Putin, because we kind of don't need it for any actually no i'm gonna keep putin i'm gonna go kent and claus let's go kent and claus uh soak up this electric hit and um if he switches out after a t-bolt we will find out he is scar no he's air balloon what am i thinking so free switch in to kitchen claws he probably u-turns so we're gonna substitute yeah, we're going to substitute. He either Dazzling Gleams or U-Turns. I'm going to assume U-Turn. And let's see if Kent and Klaus can get going here. He hard swaps. Javal. He's going Javal. And we're going to substitute. Uh, we're going to Nasty Plot, because no reason not to. We are faster. He does not get Trick Room, as far as I know. <laughs> and even if he does, we still have our sub. So he goes Rock Slide. He risks the miss. Very interesting. Very interesting there. 
So we're going to go ahead and go for the Dark Pulse. And if he switches out, uh, it's not going to like taking this hit. That's all I got to say. He could go not Latios. Definitely not Latios. He could go maybe Roserade if it's AV. He brought Roserade, right? Yukina. Yep, Roserade. So it's most likely an Assault Vested Roserade. Oh, but that does not matter. Kitten Claws does not care. Should I go for a sub? No. I'm just going to Dark Pulse. No reason not to. Keep it going. Keep it going. Oh, it's Scarfed. Can we live? On two! Oh, yeah, baby. I don't know if that was a roll, but I'm glad we lived it. Yukina goes down, and we go down to our own life orb, so that takes a kill away from him. Sadly, we no longer have a Kitten Claws to turn to now. Um, I'm going to go Putin, because he's the least viable Pokemon on our team right now. And see what he decides to go here. Oh! Here we go. We are at each other's throats right now. One to one. So Putin comes in. F91 Sky. Uh, does he D dance here? Is this a physical set? If it is, that's a problem. So I'm going to go Toxic. If he Calm Minds... Oh, he Air Slashes. Okay. Just don't flinch. Just don't flinch. Oh, you flinched. Alright. That's annoying, but Air Slash isn't the worst move he could have went for. Probably assumed we were switching into... Um, into Scrafty, which would have been terrible for us. Probably go Psychic now. Or maybe he just goes Air Slash and doesn't risk it. I mean, he already made a flinch, so. He's safe to do it. Go Psychic and knocks us out. Yeah, it does. All right, that's fine. So now we're going to go Iggy here. And we're just going to click a nice little knockoff. Into Latios. Or do we predict the Tapu Koko switch? I'm going to predict the Tapu Koko switch. There's no reason he stays in, right? I mean, he has Air Slash. I'm going to predict it. <laughs> Air Slash. Yep. That hurts, but doesn't hurt too much. Alright, now... Now I go knock off. He's clearly going to switch now. Oh, he doesn't. Air Slash. Knock off takes that thing out. Beautiful. Scrappy showing off why he is a beautiful Pokemon. The doubters doubted him, but he's here. Oh, that was Assault Vested? Interesting. Interesting. Assault Vested Latio. Wow. I mean, I still wouldn't want to took a Dark Pulse, but, you know, wow. All right. All right. Um, is there any reason to keep Scrafty around? Uh, there is, 
There is not. But I am going to sack Tinker Bell anyway. Uh, yes, that's what I'm gonna do. Cause I'm not gonna get webs off this game anyway. And Scrafty could help with uh, a Lowland Marowak later. So there's that. All right, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cover girl. Okay, uh, let's see here. I think. I think it's Solaris time. Now's a good as time as any. Latios is gone. That's the main thing we wanted gone. Uh, we should be able to take a hit from La uh, Tapu Koko, and we will outspeed after. So, Quiver Dance. Hopefully, I did not pull the plug too soon. Oh, beautiful. We live that beautifully. And Quiver Dance, Volcarona, making an appearance. And we are just going to Fiery Dance. These Fiery Dance boots are made for dancing. And that's what Volcarona will do. And we get the boost. Beautiful. Tapu Koko is gone. Bulky Volky Rona should sweep the rest of this game. <sighs> Barring some crazy shenanigans. Jival comes in. And uh, we have nothing very effective against this, but Fiery Dance hopefully gets the kill. I should have went to Jirachi. What am I thinking? I think I just threw. I should have went to Jirachi. Take the... Oh, he missed! Oh, I would have lost if not for that miss. So, RNG has made up for that week two right there. Oh, wow. Sorry for that, Delphin. I mean, I should have switched... Wow. All right. Well, we get lucky there. Uh, I will take it because we got unlucky earlier in a playoff game. So I guess this is just the universe paying us back, I hope. <laughs> Hopefully we don't have to pay back for that in later battles. And um, another Fiery Dance should knock this one out because we've gotten a boost every time. Volcarona is ready to fight. One Quiver Dance boost, and we got the sweep, baby! So, GG Delphin, again, sorry for the miss. I know that definitely mattered. And uh, thank you guys. We are now 2-2, two and, two, and we will see you guys next week for our next FBL battle.